Hello, today I am going to teach you how to make a next bar in under 5 minutes. It should be a really simple thing to do because I've made my own custom GUI for it and this will teach you how to use that. Use it. So the first thing you want to do is go to python.org um, all the links will be in the description for you to just click on but you need to go to downloads and then 3.11.0 and then wait for that to install and you need to click on this install now yes now you wait for this to finish once that is done you can click on this it doesn't really matter but it can and then close that so what you want to do is open command prompt and then type in this command which I will also put in the description for you but it's just simple like this and then install this that's installed and you can type that that's now installed and then All of that is now installed. There are only a couple more things to do now. So what you want to do is go to github.com slash woomer slash nextbot dash creator. Then you get to this github page that I made. And then you just click on code, download zip, and then get this into your downloads folder. Now you can go to your downloads. So once you've done that, the next thing you want to do is go to right click on the actual thing, right click on it and then extract all and then extract to its own folder. You can click on this, click on this and you've got everything you need for this to actually work. The next step for this to work is to click on VTF edit 133.exe. This will install the um, software that actually lets Gary's mod understand what it's going to be doing like understand what the image looks like the next bot image that you put into it so you just go through this check all of these if you want it doesn't really matter and then you can install this you can launch it and because i don't have this installed it won't work but you can just go on and install it Okay, now I have installed this, it'll be on my desktop, won't it? Yes. So I can open this now, and it gives me this, which you will just see. So you can leave that open in the background and reopen it. Now what you want to do is, while you have this open here, you need to go to your Google Chrome and install a small tool called 7-Zip. This will be helpful because it'll actually let you open the file this one so what you want to do is click on download and then the 64-bit version download this downloads pretty fast and open it yes install and it's done simple as that so now you go to here right click on ffmpeg.7z and 7-zip extract here and you have this folder. So what you want to do, rename, rename this to FFmpeg. Now you can right click on it, cut, and go this PC, and then your C drive or whatever drive you use, most likely is a C drive. Let me just delete this and paste that in. And then you've got this here. You make sure you open it and it has these files here. Make sure the bin file is definitely there. Okay, now the next thing you want to do is go to your search bar and then type in environment variables. You get to this menu, you need to make sure you, on the, you are on the advanced tab at the top and go to that, environment variables at the bottom right. 
open this and you get to this so click on path and then click on edit and then you need to click on new and type c or whatever drive you use could be the d drive i don't know ffmpeg like that backslash bin enter press ok here press ok here press ok there and then you've now installed that so if you open the command prompt of course it's not showing for me but command prompt simple and type ffmpeg it should give you this menu right here if it shows this menu you have done it correctly and it is working so there's only one bit left to do and that is actually run the program so you just double click on this and you should get this window here so this is what you'll actually use so let me just call you to, in the next one name you type oh you can type whatever you want whatever you want to call it you can call it epic next bot if you really wanted to you can type but i'm just going to call it youtube and then category i'm going to put mine in the um youtube category normally you want to put it in the next bot because that's where they all are but I'm going to put it in my own separate category just for the video. And then the default for this is 500. I'm going to set mine to 1000 anyway because that's pretty cool. To For the add-on folder, what you need to do is click on Browse, this PC, and then find wherever your Steam library is. Mine defaulted to Program Files x86 Steam. And then you need to go Steam Apps, Common. Gary's mod, Gary's mod add ons, and then you make your own folder inside here and just call it whatever you want, doesn't matter. So I'm just going to call mine next box, and then I select this folder and it'll put the actual path to it here so you can check that it's correct if you know what that is, and then for the sound, so the chase sound is the music that the next bot will play all the time when it's like chasing you or whatever, or just still. So I have that in my sound effects. Doesn't matter what these are called, I've just called them based on what it actually is. So this is the song that it plays. And then the deaf sound, I've called that deaf, you choose your own. And the sound when it jumps is boing whatever you want to call it or whatever sound you want and then the png is right here and then it displays the png right where you want it so the next bot vtf is the one that you need vtf edit for kind of makes sense doesn't it so what you want to do is go to a image resizer so imageresizer.com this should work if i'm correct i need that and then I have the YouTube logo because that's the image I want. So what you want to do is go for 512. And then if it's if it's changing when you type on this, the other one, and it isn't 512, click this little button here. And then 512 there. And then you get this. And then resize image. And then you get the download image button. And then you have the downloaded image. And if I go to here, let me just show a folder, it is 512 by 512, which is what you want it to be. So now you go back to VTF edit, file, import, and then find that new thing that you downloaded. So mine is called image bracket one and then whatever but yours will be called whatever. So what you want to do, keep everything the same, but where you say maximum width, go 512, maximum height, 512. Shouldn't really matter, but it's just a fail safe for whatever. And then you do this. So then you get this. Now what you do is you go file, save as, and then you just call it whatever you want. I'm gonna call mine youtube.vtf. And you can exit out of that. Browse, youtube.vtf, open. And then there's a little toggle for if you want it to be admin only or not. I'm going to keep it as admin only. And then 
this tut the tutorial button just links to this in case someone downloads it without actually watching this video. So now all you need to do, press on create. You go here, it creates all the folders it needs, and then you see done. That means it is finished. So you can exit out of that. You see this, it's the next spot, and then it whatever. And you can when you if you make a second one, you just select next spots again and it'll automatically add in everything it needs. So now you have all the files, materials, whatever you need for this next spot to work. Now I will go actually load up Gary's mod now and show you the result. Okay, so now I am in the Gary's mod game. I can just go to NPCs, whatever thing I made. And then you spawn it in. And then I have this. It's amazing. And then it should follow me. And if I go far enough away, it'll start chasing me. And it'll do a jump sound. And if it kills me, it should give the death sound. And then this is the next part. It depends on the thing that you use, if you get an actual transparent image or not. You just have to be lucky, I guess, to do some experimenting on what works. I'm just going to move away while I speak, so you can actually hear. If this was helpful for you, then like, subscribe and comment if it worked, or if it didn't, comment and I'll try and respond why it didn't work. And then yeah, I'm going to make a video next on how to actually publish this to the Steam Workshop, which is a really simple video. You can do it in like a minute, I guess. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, goodbye.